everyone, welcome to today's video. We've got a yoga basics class today and I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're gonna be work I'm gonna be working with some props today just to kind of give you an idea of how you can use them in your practice if you want. Um, a lot of what we're gonna be doing today, a um, little deep dive is gonna be found on my YouTube channel. So if I don't really walk you through a lot of the cueing and stuff, um, I will work really hard to remember to put the videos in, um, in the link so that you can at least go back to them and you can kind of see more of a deep dive into um, what um, alternative um, variations that you can do. Um, but as with any class, take what you need, leave what you don't. This is your practice. I am only your guide. Your body is your teacher. So just listen to your body. If there's anything that doesn't feel good, please stop and don't do that. We are not here to push ourselves. So we are gonna get started in an easy seated position. I'm actually sitting on top of a bolster today. Um, if you have a bolster or a firm pillow, you can always sit on it. Um, I'm actually sitting on my blanket and my bolster today, really giving me an opportunity to lift my body. It takes the compression out of my hips, which feels really good in, um, in my body. Um, this may feel especially good if you are pregnant because you, know, you don't want any more constriction than you're already feeling. So this kind of helps kind of add a little bit of space. But if it feels good in your body to sit a little bit higher, then I absolutely welcome you to do that whenever you like. Also, when we do our flow throughs today, I'm gonna be using the bolster just to show you a different way that you can do um, your flow throughs. I do go over this in my um, flow through deep dive video, and now you can kind of really see it in, um, in practice. So we're gonna get started, as I said, in an easy seated position. So come to your mat, you can close your eyes if you'd like, or you can just kind of stare at the tip of your nose or on the ground somewhere, and just let your hands rest wherever they feel comfortable. If you'd like, like I said, you can close your eyes and just start to come to your breath. Maybe sit up a little bit taller every time you exhale. And let your shoulders fall away from your ears. If you notice that your teeth are clenched, just release them. And just start to mentally arrive on your mat. And this part of your practice is an intention a thought or an idea to focus on or work towards, I invite you to do so. And when you're ready, if your eyes are closed, you can flutter them open. We're gonna start by taking some big, deep breaths with our arms, rising way up, so inhale, Arms come up, shoulders down away from your ears, lift up nice and tall. And on your exhale, you can bring your hands back down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do that a few more times, following your own breath. Reaching up on your inhale. And coming down on your exhale, you might be a little bit slower or faster than me, and that's okay. We all breathe at different rates. One more big deep inhale, rising up, preparing for a twist. And on your exhale, bring one hand across your body to your knee. Your other hand comes behind you. If you're sitting on a bolster, maybe it comes to the bolster and not the floor. But inhale, lengthen your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. side inhale arms coming up exhale cross your other hand across your body other hand comes behind you 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Side stretch here. So inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bring one hand down to the mat or the floor. Exhale, the other arm up and over. So if you're sitting up on a bolster, you might have your fingers tented. If you are not sitting on a bolster, your forearm may or may not come down to the mat. You can also use a block here if you feel like you need to bring the floor up a little bit more. comes down, the other arm comes up and over, keeping your sit bones down on the mat or the floor, on the mat or your bolster, and lifting through the armpit to elongate your side, drawing that shoulder back, and this is going to create space. to tabletop. So I'm going to set my bolster aside to use later. I've got a blanket for my knees. And as always, I will take off my watch that I've forgotten to take off. So in your tabletop, your hips are over your knees and your hands are roughly, your wrists are roughly underneath your shoulders. Now, if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can always walk your hands out towards the edge of the mat, or you can walk your hands a little bit forward of your shoulders and see how that feels better. If you even need to walk your knees out a little bit, just find a posture that is comfortable for you to allow your spine to be neutral. You can also come up on your wrists if you feel like you need a little bit more um, support in your wrists, and this feels better. So we'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, chin up, belly down, tailbone to the sky. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, belly to spine. Inhale. or the other, maybe you hang out in cat or cow. Or maybe that's not what you need. And you kind of rock back and forth. Do some hip circles here. Kind of take what you need. When you're ready, come back to a neutral so from here, we'll extend our right foot out, tucking our back toes. First, stretch in the back of your leg. And we're going to come into a supported side plank. So turn out your right foot so it comes off the mat. Bring your back foot down so the side of your foot is now on the mat. Bring the weight into your left hand. Turn your body to the side, opening up your chest. Your hand can come up. A few options here for your supported side plank. So you can stay here, opening up through the chest and the hips. If you want a little bit more of a chest opener, you can take a half bind here. If you'd like to work on balance, you can take supported half moon. You can look up at this. Grant, look up at this 
sky or down to ground. Just kind of take what you need here. When you're ready, everything comes back down nice and slow and controlled coming back into tabletop. We'll take the other side. Extend your left foot out, tucking your back toes. And when you're ready, we're going to bring our right foot so that it's off the mat in this little kickstand. Turn our left foot so our side of our foot is down on the mat. Weight comes into our right hand, start to turn your hips to open, and then bring your hand up. So the same options apply. You can sit here, you can take a half bind here, you can lift that back leg if you'd like to work on balance. If you want additional side stretch with your foot down or up, you can bring your top arm down by your ear. Give some nice opening to your side body. into tabletop. Perfect. So from here we're going to come into downward dog to start. Tuck your toes and then just let your knees hover just for a moment and then lift in through your hips. Bring your hips up. You can pedal out your feet here if you need. walk forward or you can walk back into a forward fold. So the choice is yours. So either come to a forward fold at the front of your mat or a forward fold at the back of your mat. Don't let your head hang heavy. You can open up your feet if you need a little bit more space. Let your head hang heavy here. Bend your knees as much as you need. We're going to keep your hands on the floor, you can bring them to your shins, and we're going to lift up halfway. Inhale, lift up halfway. Awesome. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway. Pause here. And then slowly rise up the rest of the way. If you are at the back of your mat, take a few steps forward so everybody's at the front of their mat. And I'm going to take my bolster for our sun salutations. You might have to adjust it. So I decided to bring a chair over here for later because we're going to be doing chair and a little bit of balance. So I'm also going to use blocks here. So you can take your flow through um, any way that you like. I'll call out a couple of the variations, but I'm gonna do this this way just to kind of give you an idea of one of your options. So <clears throat> start, find your mountain. Feet are comfortable distance apart. Maybe it's two fists, maybe it's wider, maybe it's shorter. Chest is open, inhale, arms come up. Reach up nice and tall. And on your exhale, you can forward fold any way you'd like. Your hands can stay here and come to your blocks or your shins for support. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, sit back to plank if you're working with a bolster. Step over it. Really engage your core. Inhale, exhale, you can stay there or you can come down, you can 
Inhale to cobra or up dog. Wherever you are, exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, travel into a forward fold. I'm going to come back because I've got my bolster. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up nice and slow. Exhale, hands to heart center. If you're not at the front of your mat, take a step forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, come back to plank. Exhale, take it wherever you'd like. Inhale, and then exhale, back to downward dog, wherever you are. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up, nice and slow. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, to your plank. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right. So, now that we are done with that, if you're using a bolster, you can get it out of your way. If you're near a wall or you have a chair, you can keep it nearby. Grab a drink of water feed. So we're gonna add a little bit of balance to our chair. So you can grab a chair or come near a wall. And we're also gonna do triangle. So if you need, grab yourself a block. So from here, come to your mountain. You can bring your feet um, wide or together. And when you're ready, inhale down into your chair. So your spine is neutral, your chest is lifted, your hands can be wherever they need to be today. Inhale, you can take anything that you're using for balance, bring the weight into your left foot, and then bring your right foot using your balance for an assist, and come into, right into warrior two. So your back foot is, the back of your foot is parallel to the back of your mat, your front foot or your left foot is pointed to the front. Your hips are open to the side of the room, your arms are open, be at your side, that's fine too. Your front knee is bent. Your gaze is over your front hand. So it's natural to want to look this way, but your gaze is over your front hand, which is where the challenge is because then our shoulders want to close up. And that's how we work on keeping them open. Inhale, flip the front palm, <laughs> send it back. Reverse warrior. So your back hand can be resting on your back thigh, or you can take a half bind here. And release back 
to warrior two. And again, keep your block nearby if you need it. And we're gonna come into triangle. So straighten that front leg. Now, you might need to shorten your stance here, and that's okay. I usually need to shorten my stance unless my hips are super, super warm. So your front knee is straight but not locked. Arms, you have warrior two arms. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach forward, and then come on down. Now you can stay with your inner thigh, you can bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, the floor, whatever you have the openness for. So this is a chest and a hip opener. So check your hip. If it's down like this, like folding forward, the objective of the, of the pose is to keep it open. So if you're down like this, you might be too low. Try coming up to open up that hip to meet the objective of the pose. Same thing with the shoulders. Just might need to adjust your body. And your hand can be on your thigh. It's not resting there to prop you up. It should just, you shouldn't even have to use it for anything. So all the work is being done here. And release back to warrior two. Rebend that leg. Perfect. And then from here, you can, if you want, cartwheel out your arms. You can bring your hands into a runner's lunge, or if you need more space, you can bring it into a lizard. Either way, we are just going to come step our back foot to the front for a forward fold. Inhale, exhale, inhale halfway, rise on up nice and slow. If you need to, you can use your chair or your or the wall. We'll take the other side. So when you're ready, find your grounding. Keep my the other side. So I'm not. Whew. Inhale. Exhale. Down into your chair. You might do something different on the side. You might do the same thing. And wherever you are, bring the weight into your right foot. You can hang on to whatever you're using to help your balance. And then step nice and slow. Step your back foot into warrior two. So your front heel is going to be in line with your back heel or arch. You might feel a little bit different on this side. Inhale, flip your front palm and send it back for reverse warrior. Again, you can keep your hand on the thigh or reach around for half binds. release back to warrior two, get on straight, on bend, straighten that, this on bend is incorrect, straighten that front leg, so now you're in triangle, legs, you bring your block nearby if you need, inhale, exhale, reach forward, bring that hand down, it might be in a different spot than it was before, again, check your hip, if you're tilting forward, Bring your hand up a little bit more. Maybe on this side, you come up to your fingertips on your block. You can also take a half bind here if you want. I find doing the half bind opens up my shoulders a little bit more, but it's not always the most comfortable. And slowly. Inhale, 
and slowly bring that top hand up for reverse triangle. Slowly release back into warrior two, rebending that leg. Doing however you would like to get to the top of the mat is up to you. Like to spin your hands around, coming into runner's lunge, and then stepping your foot forward you can, or you can just take a step. Nice and slow. Awesome. Now we're going to come down to the mat for our cool down. Start. sit bones. You can sit on a blanket if you'd like. If you need to, you can bring your legs a little bit wide, wider. There's nothing wrong with that to make space for um, make space for your front. Inhale, arms come up, shoulders down away from your ears. Spine is nice and long. And then reach forward. You can use a strap here. Strap here if you'd like reach for whatever you can. And slowly release. And we're going to come into or bound angles. Bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. If you have space between your knees and the floor, you can always put a blanket, towels, um, blocks to give you a little bit more support. So again, find your sit bones. Inhale. Exhale. Tip forward at your hips with a flat back. And once you've gone as far as you can, then you can bow your head around your spine. Slowly walk back up. Close your knees up like a book. And we're going to come down onto our back. If you are doing this while you're pregnant or you don't like to be down on your back, you can set up your um, reclined bolster if you'd like. <clears throat> Wherever you are, we make our way down to a supine position. So inhale, which is nice and slow. Exhale, roll down, nice and easy, controlling with your core. And your hands, when they come down, your shoulders touch the mat. You can bring your knees into your chest. Another option, just uh, put it in your bolster, come down like this, so wherever you are, come back up to center. Come back down to the other side for a twist the other way. And then when you're ready, release back to center. From there, 
You can bring your legs out straight as you prepare for your Shavasana. And that's with every class. I will not walk you through your Shavasana, but I will walk you into it if it's time that you want to take for yourself. So you can get yourself comfortable in whatever position feels comfortable in your body. You can lie back. You can lie on your back with your legs out straight. You can keep your knees bent if you'd like. You can set yourself up in um, the reclined position that we go over in my bolsters um, video. So whatever you are, start to settle in on your mat. Get yourself comfortable. Maybe you move to a bed or a chair. You just pause this video for a moment to get yourself settled. You can also sit back on your bolster or your pillow. And start to come to your breath. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart <clears throat> to feel it beat. And feel your chest rise and fall with your breath. And as you settle in or you finish your practice, give yourself thanks for coming to your mat today, for taking time for yourself. Give your body thanks for everything that it's doing for you, even if it's not perfect. I bow my head to you in gratitude for letting me be a part of your journey. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me again.